Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing the redraw challenge. And as you know, this isn't really a challenge, I don't know quite why it's called the redraw challenge. It's more of a drawing exercise. It's where you take an old piece of artwork that you've done six months ago, a year ago, three years ago, ten years ago, you know, a piece of artwork that you've done in the past and you redraw it again using the skills that you have now and that way you can compare the two pieces and you can see how you've improved and how you might want to improve further. So it's a really useful and fun exercise and I thought it would make a good video today. The piece that I'm redrawing today is my very first character design. So this was something that I drew back in 2014, in November 2014. I dated the drawing so I know exactly when I drew this. And it was the very first original character design or OC that I drew. Her name was Thea and before then I had drawn people but I'd only really ever drawn um, fan art. And so uh, there was a competition I think on Instagram. It was right back when I was just originally discovering Instagram and kind of playing around on the app and seeing what they did and there was a, co a competition someone was running for OCs and I designed this one. So Thea had, she had a kind of polka dotted dress with these big puffed sleeves, big, uh, big uh, blue pearls and she had this kind of um, hair that's kind of tied in clumps um, down both sides, so like bunches, clumped bunches. and. I decided to redraw this piece because she was the first original character I drew and there are, el there are elements of the design that I like still today and there are elements that I don't like. Um, the elements that I like are the hair, the hair design and the kind of the costume design. Um, I quite like the puff sleeves and I do quite like how I'd done the hair. Um, but in the rest of the design... Um, I don't particularly uh, like anymore. I think it's quite cute, but it's not exactly how I would want to draw anymore. So um, I don't particularly like how I did the eyes or the nose or the mouth. Um, I don't particularly like the colours that I chose either. I, I think I could have chosen colours that went much better together. Um, but I managed to make it work for this piece and I'll talk a little bit more about the colours later on. So the original piece was done in watercolours and uh, that was because I couldn't quite afford Copics at that time or any other marker. So I bought a set of cheap watercolours to kind of tide me over whilst I was saving up for the Copic markers. When I was redrawing her, I really wanted to really think carefully about what style I liked drawing in and I focused very much, I took the elements individually so I, I looked very carefully at how I was drawing eyes and I thought what can I tweak, how can I make this more appealing to me and um, I did that with the nose, I changed uh, the style of the how I normally draw a nose a little bit and I also changed um, the way I draw the neck and I tried to make her whole um, body more fluid. Um, it's a, I've been experimenting with this quite a bit recently in my sketchbook. Um, it's a little bit difficult to show you with this particular piece because it's only the it's only it's like it's only the top half of her body, and it, it um, it's a little easier to show when you start drawing hands and arms and things. But I've been kind of pushing my uh, pushing the style that I draw in more and more recently, and I think. The biggest thing that I was working with this piece was the hair. I was trying to make my hair less clumpy. Sometimes I feel like with the original one, one of the things that I knew I wanted to change right away was the hair. I felt like the hair was just too clumpy. That's how I used to draw hair. And so with this one, I tried to make it um, more fine, more flowy. And I really like how the new one turned out. There are things I think I can still work on. But that's really the whole point of this exercise. So you draw the, you know, you look at your original one and then you redraw it. And as you're redrawing it, you can think, oh, I can see that I've improved on some pieces. And as you can see, I kept the original um, next to me all the time I was drawing and as I was colouring so that I could really see um, how, uh, how, how I've moved on um, and not that the, I don't think the first one was terrible um, as I said I think it is quite cute and it's not terrible at all but it's not what I would want to draw now and I also really like the composition of the new one so in the in the original one it kind of just cuts off um, there's no real composition I haven't really thought about the design elements exactly there's no background and her arms and her her kind of top half just completely cut off into thin air. With the new one I wanted to uh, cut her off but I wanted to do it in a way that looked very kind of 
not natural, but I wanted to complete the drawing. So that's why I brought her hair and I am completely in love with her hair design. I think it worked really well. And I brought one bunch round and then the other bunch round her arm and I could kind of contain the image. So I could cut it off but it doesn't look sort of sudden. It looks very contained and I really like how um, I brought the hair around to do that. I think that was very effective. And I also, I gave her a simple background and I kept the vintage style colour scheme because when it came to doing the colours I had a bright green, a bright ready pink and a bright blue and a purple and I decided to tone down the green so instead of going for like the forest green Copic marker I went for pea green and some of the um, yellow greens uh, just to mute down the colours so that they would work better together and that's just a basic thing that I do often if I have a colour scheme that the colours are very bright and very contrasty sometimes the best way to make them all meld together is just to mute them down a bit um, and that way they they're not each overpowering each other and I think that worked quite well and because the colour scheme was kind of turning out quite vintagey I decided to do the background and when I get to the background bit later on I used um, putty which is one of my favourite Copic markers. Uh, I did a whole video on my favourite Copic marker colours and that was one of them and it just kind of went with the vintage theme because she's wearing puff sleeves, she's got pearls on, she's got ribbons in her hair, she definitely has a vintagey vibe. Um, so that's where I went with the colours and as I look at them side by side I can see things that I, I th definitely like my style a lot better now. I definitely think, um, obviously I think the colouring is probably the biggest area of improvement um, at least that's what I mean there is the way that I've drawn it the style of it um, which I like better now but as I said the original one it wasn't it's just a matter of taste I think but I definitely think the coloring um, has improved a lot since then and I really think the hair just um, I can see a lot of improvement in in different places um, obviously there are things I think I can improve further on when I'm looking at the piece I'm thinking about I want to define more and more the, f the kind of the fluid anatomy that I want to develop so um, I need to just keep practicing on that and actually as I was colouring you saw right at the beginning I did it in pencil then I outlined it then I rubbed out the pencil but when I rubbed out the pencil I kind of felt like her face had changed a little bit um, so I'm, th I th I'm thinking maybe that I will try a piece and not rub out any of the pencil underneath and um, that will give it lots of extra texture but I think that might work quite well so there's definitely a little bit more experimenting I want to do with just how I ink and I do ink in a brown, um, maybe a black would be more distinctive or more effective, I don't know. So there's sort of experiments that you can keep doing and I can certainly see areas that I want to practice more. So I think that's the whole point of doing this exercise because you can, um, you can take something that you've drawn a year ago, six months ago, um, three years ago, whenever, and redraw it and you can really see some you you will see some improvement even if it's very small you can look at your two pieces and think well I liked how I did that or I don't like how I did this on the original one and then you can change it and because you're sort of because you're already thinking critically about your work a little bit you're kind of in that mind that zone in your head um, I found that when I was drawing the new one I was thinking more and more about the marks that I was making so you can kind of change your habits as you're drawing because you're already thinking critically at your work you're already looking at both pieces or the piece you're drawing and you're already thinking oh what can I improve on how do I really like how I draw this so it's a very useful exercise and um, I think I should be doing this more often I think and uh, looking more critically at the drawings that I'm doing uh, just to see, see if I constantly find areas that I can improve on because obviously that's how you improve and grow as an artist. So that's 2014 to 2017. They're my two pieces. Um, which one did you guys like best? I definitely prefer the newer version um, but there are elements in the old one that I do like um, let me know down in the comments below and I hope you will maybe consider doing this drawing exercise yourself it's always a good idea and it's 
normally very helpful particularly if you're having a little you're in a rut a little bit with art wise or you're having a little bit of art block or just you're just having a bit of a tough time with art sometimes it's just really helpful to redraw and to see how you've improved and what you can improve on more it's really helpful for looking um critically at your work and it's also very helpful for finding the flaws or things that you don't like so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more and i'll see you guys next week